Sagittarius, how you doing guys? We're here to do your weekly reading, but things have changed with me and I'm doing a different job as well now. So some of the readings will be timeline specific and some of them that you'll see that won't. So if you just pretty much look for the latest video, you will hopefully find the timeline that we're on and you'll be able to see when the last video is released. So at the moment, we're just going to continue on with the rest of the readings that I've been doing, which is just uh, what's going on with you now. It'll be the week commencing, uh, weekly reading, but commencing from when you see the first card. Okay, however long that takes to play out, I couldn't really predict that. So we just look at the general energy from the first card that begins the timeline. So let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Show me from now, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you are interested, it's the 11th of January today. Okay, a fool, a fool in love. I'm a fool in love and I've just fell for someone. Someone's just fell, also probably fell over something. Someone's just tripped. I'm hearing tripped or tripped over or tripping or, tri or some oh, someone could be tripping. <laughs> I don't know why, but hallucinating is what I'm picking up or Lucy or the name Lucy or, or uh, Hermani is what I'm picking up, Hermani or Armani. I'm just picked up an Armani. Someone's very addicted to clothes and they're addicted to Armani, <laughs> Armani, or a mummy, or I've just become a, or a nanny. Some of you have just become a nanny as well, or they are thinking about becoming a nanny. So that's either that you've become a nanny because your children have just given birth, or you'll be thinking about becoming a nanny and actually looking after a child. Some of you, you do look after a child and you kind of like work from home and you are an actual nanny. But I think that you do that for your children's children as well. For some, I'm not sure why I'm picking that one up. Armani, <laughs> Armani. Uh, let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Continue on the same timeline, please, for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. They keep saying Armani. Hmm. Sorry, but there'll be different messages that come through with that one. Or Lani, Lani, Lana Del Rey. Some of you might like Lana Del Rey, <laughs> right? Or Costa Del Sol. Some of you have just gone on a holiday or you're going on a holiday and you're booking it to Costa Del Sol. Something's costly as well. I think you're looking at uh, your cost. Or cost, <laughs> what, what on earth is coming through? Cost, something's costing you. So you're going to have to spend something to accumulate something. So some of that could be a, a holiday. Let's see, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, oh, and all of a sudden it just stops. Someone just got back from holiday and now they're having to work again and realise, well, what's my next plan? Someone took a leap of faith. Someone said, well, I'm going to have to take a leap of faith and I'm really going to have to look at it to see whereabouts it's going because at the moment it's not. Some of you, this is literally just that you're just stuck at home looking after children. But you're looking after a... Uh, well, you've got a plan, obviously. There's a plan there. But uh, some of you, this is just to do with, like, you're looking after a message or something. Looking after a... What's my next plan? Pretty much, Sagittarius. Continue on the same timeline, please, for Sagittarius. Continue on the same timeline, please, for Sagittarius. What's my next plan of escape? You're still waiting for something, or they're still waiting for you, but this is a fire sign that's waiting for you. Well, any sign. We can't go off that one. But there's someone that's definitely waiting to receive this message, but it's kind of like, well, I'm hesitating. Someone's having second thoughts because they're hesitating. They're thinking about sending you a message, Sage. If you're waiting for a message, they're definitely thinking about sending it, but they're hesitating. Someone's taking driving courses as well, and there's a bit of hesitation, or there's a hesitation of whether you should actually travel to see the soulmate or your love interest. It's kind of like, well, do I actually travel to see them or don't, or don't I? Because there's a like, oh, well, if I do, I do, and if I don't, I don't. And at the moment... I really don't know Sagittarius, that's what it's saying, or what they're saying. I need to take this trip, I need to go, but I really don't know yet, because I'm not... Because it feels like the Knight of Pentacles is worried about something. We'll have to find out what that one is, but it feels like the Knight of Pentacles is worried because they don't know whether they can come or not. Sagittarius. 
some of you are thinking about um, like asking a friend to go on holiday with you, but you don't know if they can come or not. Some of you, you're asking your ex-partner for a children, that per, someone that you could have well been married to, that was the first one I see, married, thank you, Horophant, that you could have been married to in the past, and that you're asking them if you can take the children from the person that you was separated with, if you can take them on holiday. But this is waiting for communication about a strong commitment at work. So some of you are looking for work, Hierophant, that you could well be uh, navigating your way through the encyclopedia of what's out there. Someone is curious to what's out there. Okay. Uh, but you've got Taurus. So if Taurus is your partner, they have got a plan. To, it's kind of like they're looking after something at the moment. They're nurturing their job. Job. Because I keep hearing job seekers, job seeking, seeking for a job, a new one. Some of you are just physically seeking for a new job. If you're waiting for your partner to return, well, they're going to. They are going to come back. But this cycle can just play out for... See, <laughs> things happen very strangely, Sagittarius. You know, it's, I've been saying this for a bit. It's like the snowflake effect. Okay, it just multiplies and multiplies. And it's like the uh, Milky Way. It goes around and it swirls around and around and around. And you'll see that trees all form the same pattern. And that you'll actually see that things come around back to you from the past. Now, this can be a job that's just come back to you from the past. And your boss is going to ask you again, as someone that you knew before, <coughs> do you want to work for me again? <coughs> okay, do you want to work for me again? And I think that you're possibly contemplating it, but you know last time that it ended before. So, okay, brain melt of downloads. If you're, if this is resonating with you with a job, this is resonating you with love, and it's resonating you with you within the family as well, and with also children that you've got, where you're probably going to witness that there's so much happening around people at the moment that life starts to take on a different journey of feeling strange where you're standing at a door of like well i just possibly have got no idea what's going to happen with my kids at the moment i don't know if they can come with me or if they're going to leave and also some of you is like i don't know if my love interest is actually going to come because i don't know i keep picking up that some of you are watching this for your children and it's like, I don't know what's happening with my kids because they're going through something at the moment and they need me and that I can't think about my marriage and I can't think about the commitment that I'm in and I can't possibly think at work either because my friend's going through something that needs me, my family are going through something that needs me as well and that at the moment it's pulling the relationship apart. So we're having to have a complete new... <laughs> we're having to have a complete brainwash and a complete new start. So... That's why I'm picking up that of this brand new start of this new job. Now, your past partner, obviously, judgment, more likely coming back to reconcile, okay, to ask you for forgiveness or to ask and for, for you to sit down and talk about whether there's going to be a marriage for some of you. If you know your partner could well be planning to give you a, a, a marriage commitment, then that's what they're thinking. But judgment, and it's because it's general, can also mean if it's ending, is the relationship starting or is it ending or is the marriage ending or is it starting? Whoever knows, but a cycle is definitely there. There, I think that they're thinking about it. I think a lot of this energy is them, that they're contemplating. Contemplating. Let's see, continue on with this reading, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Some of you might get a message that, or you might turn them down. I don't know who's going to be turned down, but you've got fire sign here. Okay, and this is walking off. This is like, I don't want to listen. I'm going to have to walk off. I don't want to know. So some of you, you kind of like, you've got that energy around you that you're just waiting for something to happen, but nothing's really happening. It's kind of like you have to put the work in yourself to communicate, but it feels like when they do, you might turn them down. But if that's a fire sign that you're interested in, I've got no idea. Because it looks like the fire sign here is also looking out for their children and waiting for something to happen with them. If you're indicative of Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, 
but they're going through something with their kids at the moment where it's a bit like a stay at home mum because I'm having to stay at home to look after the children but I I don't know what's happening here so we're not really communicating that well at the moment we are but we haven't got time to spend some of you this is that we just haven't got time to spend with one another because we are married but we're living together but we just don't have the time to virtually fit in for each other okay so at the moment i'm having to look after my children but we can plan a holiday together and that might be the breakaway that's going to say well when your work life is kind of like less heavy and when the children are settled down we can then consume this marriage again and have a holiday somewhere okay so that'll be consuming it but for some of you if you're on that timeline of like listen if this person don't soon reach out to me and tell me whether they want a relationship or not then i'm physically going to not bother and i'm going to walk away and that would be you walking away sagittarius but they're definitely going to reach out to you and ask you something but whether you like that or not i'm not sure of what the communication is exactly going to be about but it could be you getting frustrated with uh, is this relationship physically moving forward as quick as what i want it 11 11 on the clock is it going as fast as i want it to time is definitely going to slow down through saturn and all that kind of stuff that's going on and jupiter well trust me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> things are slowing down through the energy uh for everybody to obviously go through these very difficult periods of contemplation you know that will happen with the subconscious and that will happen with your feelings and yet people are like trust me i'm watching the world <laughs> i you know I'll turn back into a traveller again and I'm having to uh, do a lot of backwards and forwards with cars and stuff and I'm witnessing loads of people just going haywire where I am. Because new beginnings, there's always a new beginning in life and it can always still be with the same soul or the same person but they have to go through an awakening first and they have to release and purge and I think that this purging out that they're going to have to go through is a lot to do with their kids and having to find the time for the relationship. Because it feels like we're married, for some of you, right? We're in a relationship and we're married. But we actually enjoy the time apart, even though we're still together. Meaning, like, the marriage is a certificate of a piece of paper. But we have kids. Possibly you have kids of your own and they have children of theirs as well. And they also have commitment. They also have a job as well as what you do. And to pull that together fully, it feels to me like that this is not over. It's just a lot of separation of energy where you're not going to be able to spend so much time with the person as, as you possibly want. Because you're both busy, okay, for a lot of you. And that this plan is probably you just talking and saying, well, at some point in the year, we're going to make a plan to actually have a holiday and a breakaway. And there's that. Okay. Uh, some of you can't wait for that to happen. But like I said, meanwhile, I think that the energy is also still telling me for future predictions that um, you're together, but a lot of the time you're also apart and that you can't spend as much time. But I think that you still enjoy your freedom, you know? You still enjoy your freedom because Taurus energy is a fixed sign. So, you know, every fixed sign will completely do that till the ends of the earth and they'll keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and they suffer from physical change and well not all the time but they can really suffer with having to change and there's there's the change there becoming the change right there's a cycle of change and a fixed sign will change eventually but they'll only change on their own terms and there's a lot of terms and conditions of the relationship okay so what i'm thinking is is that you want your person person to change but they'll only do it on their terms. Definitely Taurus energy. Okay. But that's generally every single fixed sign. They will only do it in time on them by themselves. And that's what can be very difficult if you are um, in a relationship or a soulmate relationship with a fixed sign. Okay. If you're in a relationship with a fixed sign, they can fix on that fixation of going around and around and around. Five. They could have a life path number five maybe somewhere. Okay, but they will be fixated on work, they will be fixated on things that they love, and it will play out in their condition, and they will do it because they love it, as well as they love you more than likely too, but they will do that until the ends of the earth because they're, you know, <laughs> a fixed sign.
and I think it's coming a little frustrating with, with you as well that they possibly spend all of their time at work and that they have to, I mean, they well, obviously have, everyone has to work. But trust me, within a relationship, fitting in work, if you both work at different times, I know there's a lot of time, <laughs> right? But human beings get tired, okay? So there's only a specific amount of time within a day before you get tired. So basically, if you both work at different times, because that is definitely here, fitting in the relationship and children and the time to spend together is very difficult and it can drive people apart, okay? So especially if you're dealing with fixed signs, because they will be very focused on that, you know? Um, let's see. Continue on this timeline, please. 15.55 on the clock as I looked up. Sagittarius. So, there you go. So you're more than likely a mum. Already, a lot of you could have earth in your chart that you are a mum, but this could be your mum that's watching it. <laughs> right? Family are here. That means that all of your soul groups of people through the judgment here, this is also reflecting that it does anyway that all your family members would be involved and their star signs would be involved. That's why it's very difficult to come through a general reading. But um, someone is running back home, you see. The children or one of the children could have just run back home and said, I need your support for something because I need to talk to you about my relationship. And you're kind of like thinking, well, I'm thinking about my relationship too. <laughs> so this person is coming back here to talk to their mum about a relationship, about where what's going on with your kids, more than likely. Okay, And they're coming back to say, what's going on with my job and what's going on and a proper knit and natter and talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about my person, <laughs> right? Seeking support from the mother. Okay. That. Oh, okay, that's showing me loads of different stuff now. <laughs> that's showing me a reflection of what's going on with the children as well. That they're going through a cycle to do with their woman's change. For a lot of you, this would be a girl that's going through their uh, period here. And that it could be very painful for them and it makes them feel down at the time. But that can also be you as well, you see. Um, that you're all going through that. Uh, but there is someone that's suffering from mood swings. <laughs> mood swings, okay? These are definite mood swings. These are up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Where you might just be communicating with the person now and again. Or the vision that I'm seeing is, is that your children are just communicating with their partner now and again. But you're more than likely supporting your children to say to them, well, what are you going to do? Because there's a cycle of you know, of uh, mood swings. The, the other, the child that's seeking support, or the friend, this could even be a friend, right? The seeking support that could be down, that uh, they're going through mood swings where they're more than likely blaming the partner or, or they're accepting the fact that uh, they're having mood swings. But they're trying to figure that out either way of like, why is this happening to me? This is a definite question of why is this happening? Why is it happening? Why? You know, this is like the terrible twos, but why? I'm definitely picking it up. Why? Why me? Why Why does it happen to me? Why is these moods happening to me? But if that's their period that, you know, they're going through that, if that's you, that you're going through that too. Uh, but I was starting to see a vision of that. This is still showing me something to do with that is going on through your full life five for your full life is is that it's full <laughs> with a lot of stuff <clears throat> but um i think that i'm seeing that vision through what your kids are also going through or a friend okay that your friend is going through something that they're needing your support and advice about but you would be talking to them more than likely about the relationship but some of you it could be that you're talking to them at work so you work with a friend, but they're also going to ask you about about um, trying to elevate their uh, state of mind more because where they're at is that they're going through a cycle of depression is also what I'm hearing. A cycle of depression. And they're definitely wanting support from you as a mother or their friend or something. Okay. 
And what they're doing is is that they've probably just arrived at home to say, I just need to come back home for a little while, okay? I just need to come back home for a little while and that I need to talk to you about um, because I'm waiting for my person to, to ask. So I need support at the moment because the period is just like, pfft, oh. <laughs> I'm feeling some heavy energy and some, uh, yeah, I don't know, some downtrodden kind of energy at the moment, Sage, through this reading. And it's all based on this relationship here. But if you want me to go into just a general reading, your person is pretty much thinking and contemplating on uh, reaching out to you. You could well be we right, waiting, 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 but waiting for that to happen, to hear communication from your partner to say if you're going to be in a relationship still or not. Okay, And that when they reach out to you, it might not quite be... Um, the amount of affection that you're possibly looking for, they're probably trying to hide that, not hide the emotion, but they're probably not showing it as much as what you want. Okay, but it would still be that they're going to ask you questions and they're going to, or and you're going to want to know about the stability of the relationship, or they are, you know. But there's a woman there, but I'm picking that up as a mum that's supporting. Okay. So there are your messages at the moment. That is for from the 11th onwards, okay? Because you can never really predict the amount of cards that you draw out to be a one Pacific timeline, really. Because everybody's on different scattered amounts, definitely through whether you was born uh, first, second, or third deacon, and it can just happen differently for all of us. So we will stick with weekly readings as well and timeline readings. Um, but we're going to do more cards and then clarify them, and you can find every single... Uh, reading that I do and the extendeds uh, over on Patreon. You can find that link below. If you want to follow me on any other website, you can find those links below too. Or we really would appreciate your support, Sagittarius. Any kind of like, share, comment, I really would appreciate that too. Or if you want to reach out for a personal reading, you can do that in the email that you can find with everything else. Okay, all right, guys, thanks very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And let's see what's going to happen, Sag. Thank you, guys.